strong. Because 
again, it's uh, in a little more detail, but it's a lot more than I even knew I did. I did it, and I said, boy, you know, you begin fast, but nobody's done what I've done in terms of uh, being pro-Israel. I mean, you know, Thousand. It's going to take forever. It's never going to get built. Even if you did 
fire. And I said, the only way this is going to happen is if we actually build the embassy. And uh, we got it built, and I built it in four months. We were going to buy a terrible site, a terrible location. I like real estate, and I like good location. And we were going to buy a, a terrible location. I spoke to friends of mine very much involved with this project, and they said, uh, it's not a great location, and it's very expensive. I said, you know, we're the United States. We probably have something. They said, let us check. We think we do. And they had the best piece of land in Jerusalem. And there was a building on it. And I said, I can renovate that building. And it's a big building, by the way. With setbacks and all the safety. I said, I can renovate that building in a very short period of time. And in renovating the building, you're going to save a lot of money. Because, you know, if you're smart, you can renovate like Ruby Shum's son is here. Where's Ruby Shum's son? such a uh, 
big deal that a lot of my friends that are very pro-Israel, they weren't asking me, like, are you moving, you know, uh, naming the capital, having the capital in Jerusalem and the embassy in Jerusalem. They didn't even ask me about the Golan Heights because they didn't think they could get it. They actually didn't even ask me, and I got it for them. So I did that one for them. <laughs> He recognized, recognized the permanent legality of all Jewish communities and cities all over in Judea, Samaria, falsely called West Bank, as legal in all situations that Israel's own courts regard them as legal. So I made them legal. And uh, we went by the courts, but as you know, this country, even if the courts said illegal, this country was saying not legal. It's pretty big, pretty big. He cut off hundreds of millions of dollars of funding for Muhammad Abbas.
install and I will tell you something we have all of the countries we have signed up.
knocked off Azim Salamani.